Okay, so what I got here is an adapter plate out of half inch, just pine, to adapt a JBL D250X 8 ohm tweeter horn to the Leslie spindle to the Leslie horns. I'm going to reuse the ring spacer. It was a pretty simple process. I just uh, made a 6x6 six six square piece of half inch old stock wood. Bolted the, or centered the plate, or the spindle. Uh, bolted the spindle to the, to the wood. Then I took a one inch uh, bore bit, bored it out for the tweeter, put that in, used some, I think there were three sixteenths inch screws, about three inches long, which I removed uh, two of the, two of the existing diaphragm cl uh, clamshell, used a top bolt. I should be able to get to the screw terminals or the wiring terminals on the top. But no, not, no rocket science here. There's really nothing online that, that explains much about how to make a plate. They charge about 50, 60 bucks for these plates. It's helpful to have the old V21 handy um, to transfer some of these dimensions, especially these three holes here because these are what Leslie is probably drilled for it has those captive nuts so I'll just reuse existing captive nuts spacer put the horn on should be good I'm, I'm redoing a Leslie 900 um, solid state amp over to a 100 watt by amp Yamaha all eight ohm new driver new woofer that's it so hope this helps somebody out took me about 45 minutes to make this no big deal uh don't ask me for a drawing i'm not going to make a drawing you could do this yourself in little time with common hand tools okay thank you all right here's the final finished deal there's the driver, it's dark, with the adapter plate, 8 ohm JBL, using the original cable, uh, removed the uh, reverb unit, has a funky kind of a chorus, um, I want to say like a vibra vibrato generator or something. Uh, it's got a E140-8 JBL 8 ohm uh, driver, new Yamaha, I think it's a model P250, it's a 100 watt, two channel, uh, I got a Dayton 800 hertz 8 ohm crossover, high pass filter. Uh, pretty much everything down here is left alone just for the motor control. I'm going to eventually pull that. Uh, it's still got the big transformer and capacitors. I'm just using it to control the motors. And I've got a Leslie combo. So this is working. Okay, and stop, I'll stop I think. So it's got chorus, it's a two speed on the horn section, single speed on the bass section.
uh, I may end up uh, replacing the motor controls with the solid state relay with a 12 volt control signal. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I've done it before. It works pretty good. But that's it. I'm ready to take it back to the studio and hook it up now. That's the project for today. Today's Easter Sunday 2019. And this was a little bit more work than I thought, but it's going to be bitching. Okay. Rock and roll.